what's really good it's extra cold out here so it's time to hit him with some cold-hearted real ish and we going to talk about larsa pippi you know first off the parties involved you got larsa pippi you got scotty pippi and you got everybody's favorite man future <laughs> so basically what happened was i peeped some photos of her at his miami um resort whatever is going on and you know she's posing and stuff just like she's a young broad <laughs> and that's the most funny part you know because she looks good and she's posing like she's a young john and she's taking these photos and you know it's all happy go lucky and she's smooth with it you know something i gotta say and i'm just keeping it real and you know it's not even the future's fault and that's why i respect scotty pippen all respect to scotty pippen because of how he's handling it yo after so many years of being with her he's handling it like a real g and i want to keep that funky right there and future you better give your props to pippen that he's handling it like how he is being the man of power he is and you could say you're this and that but this man's worth twice as much as you're going to be in the next few years so you just took this man's wife did whatever you guys did and he's handling it without saying nothing not coming out public blowing it up yo larsa drop pippen from your name because we both know those 892,000 followers whoever they are it was formed because you know Pippin. Now, you might have been a video vixen, but you would have been busting it open for way more men than just Pippin if you made it to the level you have and notoriety without that name Pippin. And you just turned your back on him in the midst of a marriage, cheated, and then filed for divorce. That's weak. That is a weak woman. And I feel bad for Pippin because being a champion, you should just have a champion right by your side enjoying the rest of your life but no he has a woman that chose to chase the video vixen life when she's near her 50s heading towards that way like what are you thinking why are you out here flexing like some young broad when future can go pick one of these young broads coming up that are bad don't get me wrong larsa pippen's beautiful but nah you should see these other jones these models these instagram models they're bad she doesn't hold a candlestick to most of them. And that's the crazy part, that she's acting like a young broad out here when there's all these young joins that dudes are really hitting off, that these rappers really want. These joins that got those 40-inch uh, cheeks that we really looking for. Like, dudes like me, it's like, dang, like, we're really looking at, like, I don't look at you and get that effect. You're old, you know what I mean? You can look good in the makeup and dance all you want. When he goes to a tour on a show, he'll, you're just going to get cheated on too because that's what you did to Pippin. And my thing is, yo, Scotty, go out there, get you a young, fresh joint. Like, I'm not talking about no pedophile-ish because I don't mess around with that. I'm talking about maybe late 20s, early, mid 30s. Like, you could get with a real bad joint like that and, and be cool. Don't worry about her. Yo, drop Pippin from your name, Larsa. Drop Pippin because without that added, added, Nobody will really know who you are. And that's just being honest. If if you changed it to, you know, because people say future Van Dross, uh, Larsa Van Dross, that would be better. Because at least with that Luther Van Dross uh, adage, you'd be able to get some notoriety. So drop Pippin because you just disrespected the name. You disrespected everything he stood for. You basically put a joke over everything this man's about. When nothing's a joke about Pippin, Pippin defended himself in many situations, even a recent situation with a fan. You know, he made a wild out and rocked the fan. But my thing is, you got somebody that's really there. That's a cool person in some respect of that. After you did that to him, he just let it happen. He just let it go. And that's the craziest part to me. But, you know, to each their own. But that's all respect to him for handling it that way. I'm just pissed that as a legend. And the end of his times when he should be enjoying his life, he has to deal with an unfaithful woman that sat there and wife. How many kids you couldn't get divorced, then go have your friendship. Nah, you got to go have your friendship probably on his own expense. And that's the most sickening thing that a man works so hard to get to where he goes. And then the rider right beside him can't even finish the ride right because she's going to jump ship and ride with some youngin who's honestly compared to Pippin's success you're young in the game you're young in the game in a game that you're not even having a chance to make the money Pippin is 
So it's crazy that she skipped out for a little bit of fun or what looks like fun, popping Molly, Zannies, whatever you call fun, and she's damn near 50. Like, ha, huh, you're confused. I'm going to say it. Larsa Pippen is confused. She doesn't know what to do, but she did mess up big time. You got divorced from Pippen for future? Are you kidding me? What's the financial gain? What? This man's going to be hitting off every June while he's with you. Are you? And I guess that's what you want. I guess you want to be used. See, something I'm starting to get is that, and this brings me back to that subject where I mentioned it briefly when I was talking about Von Miller, and you know, and that Cancun beauty trying to get him for that money. How much of these women are really faithful to the man with the money? How how faithful are they to have kids, money, and then try to jump ship at the end with somebody who ain't got half the money, but just to go around on tours and stuff, hang out with them. Then when you leave, they hitting off your best friend or hitting off the next model. Like you're a dummy. And that's just a fact. There's nothing questionable about it. Larsa Pippen, you are a dummy for what you did. And I hope when Pippen gets that divorce that you barely get anything because you just made his name look bad. You just cheated. You broke the covenant. It wasn't him. You broke the covenant. So you shouldn't get a dime, honestly. But if you want to go follow up under a rapper, chase a rapper around that and their music talk about using women, it just don't make no sense. Like these MCs are talking about not being faithful, never wife and a hoe, like different things. And you're fitting every category of what he doesn't want. But the cheeks look good. So he's taking it. So that's the funny, funny thing that she can't see the bigger picture. And you're how old? Come on, man. This is just a joke, honestly. And I'm just speaking what's real because let's be respectful to Pippen. Let's be respectful to a champion whose numbers retired on the Chicago Bulls after playing with the champion Michael Jordan. Like, Michael Jordan's everybody's uh, freaking hero that grew up and respected basketball for the most part. And, you know, that was a generalized statement because some people like Larry Bird who was also one of the greats. So even Carl Malone and John Stockton, even though they never got a ring, but the whole thing is it, your guy was playing with legends and you're skipping over a legend to play with somebody trying to keep their name solidified. And let's not get it mistaken. Future is a household name. I mean, the word future itself. So, I mean, that's what makes sense about it being attractable because oh, the future, like, and his name is future. So, I mean, he did a good marketing uh, strategy to build his persona, but it's nothing like Scottie Pippen. It's nothing like it. So, I mean, you saw the situation where Sierra had a baby with this guy. He wouldn't even stay faithful with her. Sierra's one of the baddest. This guy wouldn't even keep her around. So you're damn near 50 unless you have money and you have Pippen's money and you're spending it on him. Why would he even keep you around? You're just a liability, someone to complain when I'm trying to hit off the next badge on. So let's think about this. Does it make sense what she did? I'm just asking. I want to know what everyone thinks. Does this make sense that she jumped ship with Scottie Pippen to be with Future? No one's speaking up. Everyone's acting like it's all good. Yo, this is funny. She just gave up a billion dollars for 10 million. It doesn't make sense. So I'm trying to figure out what makes these women, when you got money, faithful? When they jump ship to another person that got money. It's that grind from the bottom to top. If you're a celebrity and you're grinding and your woman's just sitting around the house and she ain't doing nothing to help. Like when you get through that door, if she ain't rubbing your back, if she ain't checking your feet, have that meal ready, it's time for her to go. If you're a celebrity, and this is talking about celebrity relationships. When you get home from tour she ain't answering her phone. If she ain't moving a certain way, you don't want to keep her around. Because when you have a woman in your life, you bring her into the celebrity world. And she gets a big head and starts looking for what else kind of money she can get from around you. Allegedly from what it seems. Because nothing makes sense. After eight, about 18 years, you decide to jump ship with a rapper that just came up and is popping. And that's the crazy part. Because... You're looking at now, but Pippin's already solidified. You already got kids. It's like 
you just did some dumb stuff. Now you're trying to post photos um, at the beach. We don't care. I'm going to look at your photos, look how your body looks, and then I'm moving on. I don't even want to see you in a reality TV series. If you ain't with the same person showing what you went through for 18 years up until now, I don't want to see it. I don't even want to see future in your chemistry. I don't want to see it. Because to me, Larsa Pippen shows she's a snake. She just snakes Scottie Pippen. If you talk about Jordan, you're going to mention Scottie Pippen. She just snaked the legend. So I have no words for her. And that's my integrity as a man. Like, you're bad looking, but you're only bad looking for now. Because there's young females on the come up that are looking great. So for now, you do. One thing I want to say, Scotty, it's going to be that time where you have to decide whether or not you're going to take your wife back. Because that's what happens with women that do that type of stuff. I'm telling you, move on, bro. Move on. You can do better than that. Don't be sitting there letting her uh, say things in your ear. Oh, after 18 years, this is what you're going to do. She jumped ship. The ship was selling. She jumped off the side. Let her swim. Go ahead and swim. Since you think you know the future, go ahead and swim. Scotty, keep balling out. Do your thing. Make your decisions and worry about them kids. Otherwise, go get you a badge on and get your... Get your career good and get things moving. Don't even worry about this, yo. This is crazy. And I usually don't address stuff like this, too, because I don't get involved in relationships. But as I did, I talked about the incident that occurred earlier and the divorce that happened. Now she's posting photos like she's some model, model in Miami. Ma, you're a snake. You can't be trusted. How can Future even trust you? You just jumped ship on a husband of 18 years. How can he trust you not to even screw his dudes? That's how I know you're about to get played. Because I couldn't trust you. I couldn't trust you within arm's reach. If you're not in arm's reach, I couldn't trust you to do nothing. You know, shout out to Scotty Pippen. Shout the future. Larissa Pippen, change that last name. You got to cut that. Nobody wants to hear Pippen on your last name no more. Just be Larsa Vandross or Larsa. I don't care. Just drop that Pippin thing. That's fake, man. I just have to give some respect to a legend that put put his work in on the field in the game and helped Mike score all them points, the assists. And, you know, we going from there. Like, share, subscribe. Rock with me. Daily content. Always. All rights reserved.